Hey dudes and dudettes, with Halloween just around the corner, I thought it would be fun to make a video based on the best retro spooky games. Now I'm aware some people don't like Halloween or anything spooky, and some people think that any of that stuff is just icky and evil, but I'm here to try and convince you that there are family-friendly games that involve Halloween or light spooky nostalgia, and not every video game that is scary has to be ultra gory or violent. Also, if you don't celebrate Halloween or you're outside of the United States, I think you'll still enjoy the spooky atmosphere of the video games. The basic rules for this channel when it comes to being, quote, retro, are that it has to be at least a decade old, or it has to be heavily inspired by nostalgia and to be an homage to memories of the past. I'm also going to include the most popular gaming platforms and consoles of the past, but I can't include everything because I personally didn't own every console. Also, I'm going to include one Castlevania game on this list, or else risk this video being dominated by that franchise. So starting off with an Xbox 360 game, also available on other consoles, that is completely bathed in Halloween nostalgia. Yes, it's Costume Quest. Now this game won't win any turn-based strategy awards, but in a way I think it should. It's the perfect gateway to turn-based strategy games and introduced me into the world of JRPGs. In fact, with the recent release of Sea of Stars, which is very retro inspired, I owe it to Costume Quest for getting me interested in games like this. And hey, Sea of Stars has a spooky haunted mansion level. How cool is that? Anyways, every corner of Costume Quest reminds me of being a kid on Halloween. It's become a tradition now in our family to play this game every year around Halloween time and even watch some of the cartoon series inspired by the game. The music is delightfully spooky, the dialogue is witty and charming, the characters are fun to watch, and the game doesn't overstay its welcome. If you want a game that brings back the nostalgia of trick-or-treating, really, I can't think of anything better. Next we have the Nintendo GameCube, and really no surprises, it's Luigi's Mansion. This game is proof that cute and spooky can exist in the same universe. Leave it to Nintendo to make ghosts and haunted mansions into a lovable game the whole family can enjoy. If you don't know, this game is essentially Ghostbusters with a vacuum. There are some light puzzles sprinkled throughout the game as well, but I think most people remember the creepy, catchy music and the ominous atmosphere of the mansion. You really can't go wrong with Luigi's Mansion on GameCube, or any of its sequels for that matter. Next we have another Nintendo console, the Super Nintendo. And this is where I'll choose a Castlevania game. Castlevania 4 to be exact. Why this one? Well, I feel this was a game that was most approachable to families, not just because it lacks gore, but because it's the least difficult of the retro Castlevania games. The controls and range of motion are greatly improved. You can actually beat the game. Imagine that. I can't beat old NES Castlevania games without a modern rewind or save point feature. And it's just a great time going through this haunted castle and dispatching creatures of the night. Plus, just about everyone knows how awesome Castlevania soundtracks are. Let's move back to the Sega Genesis, and this one may be a bit of an acquired taste for some, it's hard to say. Back when we first got a Sega Genesis, we were late to the party. I think the PlayStation had just released, so we had a ton of titles to choose from as kids to pick one game to own per child. My little sister chose the Addams Family. The rest of us kids kind of scratched our heads as to her choice. Why this one? Well, you know what? Once we tried it out ourselves, we discovered it was delightfully whimsical and atmospheric. The gameplay is fun once you get used to Gomez feeling like he greased the bottom of his shoes. However, if you look past its minor faults, it's a spooky, retro good time. Let's jump from consoles over to PC for a second. The PC is full of good, spooky titles, but which ones are family friendly? Well, we may be pushing the envelope a tiny bit here to the 10 year old to teen and up category, but there are two games that spring to mind here. First is The Seventh Guest. This right here is the game that convinced me to get into PC gaming, whatever it took. This game was first shown to me by a friend who lived up on a hill that seemed like a mansion. His brother had this in Doom, which is definitely not family friendly, but I was more interested in this title due to its amazing music and atmosphere. Most of the puzzles were fun to play too. A lot of people hated the virus puzzle, but once I figured out the main strategies, it was a lot of fun. I even got the board game version of that puzzle I liked it so much. To me, this is the perfect haunted house game. It really inspired so many other games like this. It's also available on a lot of other platforms, including the Nintendo Switch, so you may want to give this classic a try. The next PC game just squeaks onto this list as it's almost a decade old, but more importantly, it's heavily inspired by the 1980s nostalgia of Chuck E. Cheese. Yes, it's Five Nights at Freddy's. This is on other consoles as well, but the main takeaway is if you like jump scares and heart-pounding spooks, this is your game. As far as being family friendly, well, it doesn't have any blood or violence, but that doesn't mean it won't scare your socks off. Out of all the games on this list, this one will probably scare you the most. So let's calm it down a bit and go with an old school original Nintendo game. 
There are several to choose from, like Monster in My Pocket or even Nightmare on Elm Street, but to me it's going to be Gremlins 2. Why, you ask? Well, the Gremlins franchise is a perfect example of cute and scary at the same time. Plus, I don't know what magic the developer Sunsoft had, but they made excellent soundtracks for the Nintendo, and Gremlins 2 is no exception. It's just a simple game that's easy to get into, but challenging enough to keep you on your toes. This may be the least spooky game on the list, but I had to do something to distract from the terrors of Five Nights. I'm going to move things along now with the PlayStation 1 title that also got remade into a PlayStation 4 title. That game is medieval. It's saturated with Halloween music and visuals. It's silly, it's easy to figure out the gameplay, and it still offers a challenge from time to time. There are a lot of people who hold this game dear to their hearts for cherished atmospheric memories. It's definitely worth a look, especially around the Halloween season. I don't want to neglect the arcades, and for this one I'll cheat a bit. I know I said only one Castlevania game, and while this Konami arcade game is definitely the kickoff for the Castlevania series, it's actually called Haunted Castle, with no mention of Castlevania, so it still works for this video. Semantics aside, this is a spooky trip into Dracula's abode, and while many would argue Ghosts and Goblins deserves to be here instead, I just find those series of games way too difficult to be family friendly, and they also have a bit more gore. Of all the games on this list, however, this game may show its age the most with its slower pace of controls, but it's still a spooky good time. For the Nintendo Wii, I have I Spy Spooky Mansion Deluxe. Gee, I suppose I should have titled this video Best Haunted Mansions and Castles in Video Games. At any rate, this is a family fun educational game that takes place in a haunted house. I doubt many parents would find fault with this one around the Halloween season or any other time for that matter. This game is a memorable favorite for a lot of kids, and it's educational. PlayStation 2, I can't leave that one out. I'll be honest, I owned a PlayStation 2 for only a little while and most of the time they was spent playing games like Metal Gear Solid 2. This is the only game I haven't played on this list, but after doing some research I found a huge fan base for this game called Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. Let me know in the comments if you played this one and your thoughts on the game. It looks like a frightening good time. Okay, finally the last game on this list, and it's a lesser known gem on the Neo Geo. It's Nightmare in the Dark. It's a simple platform style game where you try to eliminate undead menaces. The pixel art speaks for itself, the setting is primarily haunted cemeteries, so there's a lot of fun to be had here. And that's the list, friends. Are there any games I missed? Let me know in the comments. And if you like spooky themed retro stuff, be sure to check out the video we made about monster cereals. And with that, have a totally awesome Halloween and or spooky day. Mmm, that was some seriously good nostalgia. But remember, friends, it's also important to make new memories with your loved ones. Do, 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 do.